Calling all units, calling all units. Donut Shot has a fresh dozen. Go ahead and take a 1040. So um, that's how I started my search for jiu-jitsu. And it wasn't until a few years later that I finally saw the first UFC uh, with Hoist Gracie. Shout out to Hoist Gracie, uh, who, is, who just became a police officer. Really? Where? Yeah, wow. somewhere out west. He just got hired as a, as a police officer. I'm sure not full time. Yeah. Probably in the reserve program. Yeah, but yeah. Have, you, have you ever met him? Yes, many times. Oh, wow. wow. Yes. Celebrity Actually, I, I, I've, I've taught alongside with him whenever he came down to do seminars for the Miami Dade Police Department and stuff. And wow. You know that people don't know he is an amazing shooter. Yeah? Oh, he can outshoot most SWAT teams. Really? I, he is wow. really good. But it's because he also has a lot of access to a lot of, you know, yeah. special ops guys yes. and, and cops everywhere. So they take him. He gets to, uh, the prime training. Well, he's nice. probably also that personality where he's just so focused and yes. driven into different training aspects that he's just going to be the best. Yeah. He can be at everything. Yeah. Follow the ethics to yeah. whatever, like to that yeah. and apply it to something else. And usually you're successful. You got to get those, that routine down, that ethics, like, like you. And I want to talk about your yes. routines because you have an immaculate routine as well because you spoke to me about it. But anyways, let's complete this story. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm um, so, excited. so that, yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw a horse in the UFC. I saw how, how jujitsu and, and, and this is why it's important. A, a, a quick point here on the early UFC's ultimate fighting championship. Nowadays, what you see now is about who the best fighters are. Yeah. Who the uh, back then it was not about the best fighters; it was which was the best style. Yes. They used to have street fighters. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And there was no there was no size. Yes. It was like a three hundred pound guy. No yeah, weight like, limits. Gracie. Nothing. Yeah. You had like Tank Abbott or something like Bare that. Bare knuckles. You know, just a big Good. bar fighting guy. Yes. yes. Big beer bellies, and they just overpowered people yeah. just fighting them. And yeah. and that's why it was so important. It's so important to understand those first, at least like the first five, uh, the first couple of UFCs. Why those were important are important to watch because it really shows the power of jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew what jiu-jitsu was. And as you saw, he had massive success. Yes. And it wasn't about Hoist because Hoist, although, you know, he's athletic, but he's not, he's not a, he's not yeah, a he's prime, not, yeah. he's yeah. not, a, you know, a like, prime athlete. These guys now in, in oh, the UFC are shredded. Yeah. But he no, was like, yeah, you know, he's, he yeah, was just a guy that yeah. was really good at jiu-jitsu. And they picked him to send him in there. He and might be mistaken for like a, a cyclist or something. He's got like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think a bunch of that guy rides bike. No, that yeah. guy would choke you out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, choke you out now. <laughs> so that's how I got started. I found an academy, and then um, fast forward twenty something years now. I've been doing it now twenty four years. Yeah, twenty four. I've been for sure one of the longest. Uh, I was the first, one of the first, if not the first, cop down here in Miami. They uh, got their black belt in jiu-jitsu and, and for sure the first one teaching at the Miami-Dade Police Department. Oh, and I got... I Those got, days were crazy. Hey, uh, and you know what? Go that's, ahead. We can go right into that's that. That's where I met you. <laughs> yes. At, at the, at the Miami-Dade Police Department. How are we doing on, on break time? We're, I mean, we got like three minutes. Okay. If, if you got a quick story. Well, well, when we come you, back, when we come back, <laughs> when we come back from break... Oh, what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> when we come back from this quick break... Uh, I'll tell you how I met uh, Freddie, and at, at the beginning I was like, "Oh, that was that wasn't nice of you," oh, but uh, it turns out that it, it was all in uh, it all had a rhyme and reason behind it. What's up, Nod Squad? Hope you enjoyed that clip from the Donut Chop Podcast. You can head on over to the Donut Chop Podcast YouTube channel where we have the entire interview. While you're there, make sure to click subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you can know when we upload. There's going to be tons of new content, a whole bunch of guests. If you guys have any suggestions, head on over and hit us up in the comments. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, I'll see you over on the Donut Shop Podcast channel.